Praise God. My name is Gloria George Musa. I'm from Tiji Shangani Miracle Temple. Today's message is prayer. As we know, many people know how or know many ways on praying. But today's message that God has given me is prayer. We are going to start the meaning of prayer. Prayer is something is something or, or anything that you say to God. It can be for help or thanksgiving or other way. We have types of prayers. For instance, many people can pray for many things. People can pray for thanksgiving. People can pray for Holy Spirit. People can pray for faith, faith to have faith, life. People can pray so that to get something from God. Because as we know, God is the only person that gives us many things. For instance, a person who is born in Christ, he or she should be a prayerful person so that he or she can live in a holy life. As we know, Holy Spirit comes to a person due to prayers. Prayers is a such a thing that gives a person a Holy Spirit. So we are going to look also we are going to look on prayer of worship. Some of people pray because of worshiping. They worship something. That's this says on Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. It says that, Worth are you, our Lord and our God, to, to, re, to regain glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will, and by your will, they, and by your will, they relate, they relate. As we see here, God acquires, God needs honor, so some people can pray so that to worship God. Through worshiping, God is being healed. God is being put up because he is the one that brought us in this world. He is the one that makes us alive still today. That's why many other people or many people just pray for worshiping God. Also, prayer of thanksgiving. We can see in Psalms chapter 100, verse 4. It says that Psalms both of the prayer types up by saying enter his enter his gates with thanksgiving. As we see here in Psalms, God still telling us that there are still prayers of thanksgiving. We can ask God for help, we can ask God for anything, but we forgot that there are prayers of thanksgiving. If God has done something to your life, if God has done something to your, to anything that you are struggling of, you should, you should have thanksgiving prayers. This is the one of among of the types of prayer. Also, we have prayer of faith and others. When we read in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 till 8, God asks us to pray so that we can get our things. Without prayers, you can't get things in this world. You can fight using your mind, using your knowledge, using your anything that you have, money or anything. 
but without prayers, without God, you can't succeed. You can't move on because you need God, you need prayers so as to move on. Prayers give strength, give everything that a human being or a man of God needs. So here, we shall read here in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. It says that, ask, it says that, ask him, ask and it will be. So God tell us, if we pray, something will come to us. Without prayers, nothing will happen to anything that we need. Through prayers, but within prayer, we need faith. Faith is the only one thing that can heal a person or heal a victim or a sickness person. That is through prayer. So I said before, a person can just ask for help from God or a person can just ask for something from God but you should also have a prayer of thanksgiving. Why thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is encouraging God to us to give more things because when you are thanking God, God Him Himself is being happy because we are giving thanks to Him. Although we have prayer of worshiping also, but we should also have prayer of thanksgiving because many things all our lives are being touched by God. You yourself, you are alive till today because of God. So we should have prayer of thanksgiving. Put one hour to just thank God for everything that He, he has done to you. Even though it's painful, even though it's tough, even though there are temptations, but you should thank God for it because we can pray for many things to form God, but we don't have prayer of thanksgiving. That's why many things are not happening to our lives. Also, we can look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. God explained more about prayers, that prayers are powerful. A Satan does not like people who are praying. If you are praying, if you a certain does doesn't like people who are moving on, that's why he touch many people in prayers. If you see your heart when you are starting praying, you feel like sleeping, or you feel like getting off it. That's it, a certain or a devil. You should move on with prayers because prayers are powerful. Prayers make pe make a person to be more powerful and secured. Also in Luke chapter 11 verse 1 to 4, God is still emphasizing us as people to be praying. Because of that, praying can make people live in peace live in peace by helping them by helping them find love between each and other you can't live with your enemy near you without prayers you have to pray for him or her so that god can give humble heart for him or her to love you too also we have the importance of prayers why Prayers are important. We are going to see here the importance of prayers. Prayers help us. Prayers help us to be to have good connection with God. When you are praying, mostly people who are praying, they have good connection with God. You can't have good connection with him without prayers because through prayers and in the prayers, the, that is the place where people meet God. God is holy. You can't be in a holy life with him, without Him. 
That's why a person is supposed to be born again so that he can live, he or she can live in holy life. That's why we say that prayers give connection to God. If you pray, you can get many things, many visions, many solutions of your problem. God will tell you many things about the future of yourself if you pray. That one will... God says in Psalms chapter 145 verse 18 it says that the Lord the Lord near to all who call on him so we see here in Psalms that God is near to all who call him who are allowing him in their heart you can't be near God if you, are, you don't allow him in your heart. If you don't pray, you need prayer so that you can get connections. Even you can find many things in your life that are not moving on. It's because you don't have good connection with God. Through prayers, you can get the answer of your problems. I emphasize you to just still praying so that you can get the answers and the solutions of your problems. Second importance is prayer gives us strength. Prayer gives us strength and hope. As we know, in this world, there are many things that are, um, there are many trials that are discouraging our lives. But through praying, you can have strength, hope, when you are doing something or for example starting a business you don't know at the end of the day what are you going to get but through hope, hope of that you are making of that you are doing it you can get something good that's why through prayers we are going to have good hope through him because when we have a good connection with god he himself he himself give us strength and hope to move on. You can see in Psalms chapter 73 verse 26. Also, prayer gives us confidence. Confidence in what? Through prayers, we get confidence. For instance, many people have fear of certain or devil or agents of devil because they don't have confidence but when but if you are a prayerful person you will be, you will have confidence in a, even you pass through any kind of witchcraft or any kind of devil's things you will have confidence also Prayer gives us wisdom and it, and it guides us. Many people, many people in the world find their sec secure, security from different things. For example, from witchcraft or bodyguards or sometimes you can see a person has a house but is putting dogs only for security but through prayers you can be secured by prayers God can protect you you don't have to wear many things from witchcraft you find a person wearing many things in the body because he or she is a he's a scared of Satan or devil but through prayers God can guide you, can secure you from them all, and you can have confidence because you know that God is only Him, He has good protection to us. Also, prayer increases faith. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5. People should 
have faith, especially people in Christ. Faith on something that you are praying for. You can't go to God and ask for something if you don't have faith. So through prayers, God can increase your faith. You have to, you have to believe in what you are praying for. You have to believe in what you are doing. When God is inside you, when you are praying, God is going to increase the faith. Also, we are going to see, we are going to ask, many people are asking this question. Many people are asking themselves, or maybe you are asking yourself this question. Why, why do we not pray? We don't pray because there are certain of things that discourage us from praying. As I said before, a devil doesn't like people to pray because he knows in prayer there are many people going to succeed. In prayer, many people are going to move on. Many people are going to be healed. People who are sick are going to get well. That's why devil every day he does not sleep but he just look people who are praying so that to discourage them from it so many people are asking why we do not pray first thing we don't believe the thing that makes us to not pray is not is, is because we don't believe we don't believe that God can do bigger things. For instance, for example, a person can say that I want next year to build a house and to buy a car. But he or she doesn't believe that God can make or can fulfill his vision or his ideas. So many people fail in prayers because they don't believe and you can see that person is going to pray god i need this and this but in his heart or her heart she she or he doesn't believe fulfill here in believing we are saying that it's faith faith is the only thing that gives us to believe god, that god can do many bigger things in our lives that's the only thing that makes people not to pray. First is we don't believe. Second thing is we lack Holy Spirit. Why we lack Holy Spirit? Because we lose holy life. Many people, or many Christians, they, they lack Holy Spirit in their hearts, in their lives, because they don't live in holy life. You can't have our spirit while you are doing bad things. For example, drinking alcohol or doing other things that God doesn't like them. So, this is one of is among of the things that make a person to not pray because the Holy Spirit, when you get Holy Spirit, he himself he can help you it, he can emphasize you in praying as we know the work of holy spirit is to memorize the things that you should do for example you or me are working with the holy spirit he himself he gets us more things he memorizes us many things that we forget for example this time you need to pray or this time you need to read the bible Holy Spirit can help you. Holy Spirit can emphasize you and make you pray. So, losing or lacking Holy Spirit makes a person not to pray. Also, we don't we don't feel we don't feel close to God. How we don't feel close to God? It's because we are not living holy life. Holy life is doing good things that God accepts them all. 
as we know God has put his has put everything to us that we should do all in all to see him one day in paradise but many people don't live holy life they are doing bad things you are you are for example a man and his wife they are arguing that there would be no holy life inside them because there are no peace inside them so through this is we can't be praying through this because we don't we are not closely to god when you are closely to god you can know many things that are happening and they are going to happen in future also many people are asking themselves what should we do or what are going to happen if we don't pray the things that are going to happen in your life if, if that are going to happen in your life if you don't pray there are many things mostly of them they are not good things because as we know as i said before connection between you and god it's because of prayers so you have to be praying prayerful so that to have good connection with god also to have good connection with the holy spirit so that he can help you in your life so if we don't if we don't pray there are certain things can happen in our life First of all, there are, we lose connection between us and God. Connection is needed. In a person in Christ, connection between you and God is mostly needed. Between you and God. I said, as I said before, that connection helps us to get many things. All God can tell us that do this or do that or help them or do something that can make you succeed so we lose connection if we don't pray also we lose also we lose concentration concentration on what we lose concentration for example if you are for example if you are doing things in church or participating in things in church at, at your church or you are doing some things those things are going to end because you there are no prayers if we do not pray those things god god cannot make them happen in your heart you cannot feel them you cannot even see the importance of them doing it at church so you lose concentration also sickness illness many people who are not praying concentrate get sickness you can find a person is getting sick but sometimes we believe that in the hospitals or doctors can make us be healed but the only man on the the only person that can heal us is god as we know if you lose prayers devil can attack you anytime if you lose prayers you will be attacked by many sickness that's why you find in some areas or in some churches people are attacked by sicknesses that are not ending you find a person is sick constantly many years is just sick for a one condition because is he or she is losing prayers the other thing is without prayers you may you may fall easily in temptation for instance, as we know, in this world, we, we, 
we can't live without temptation or trials or other things that overcome in our lives. This is nature of a human being. So if you lose prayers, those temptations can make you feel stressful. If you lose prayers, that's why you see many people, many boss, bosses, or many people who are rich, they just end up dying because of stress, because of many things. That's because of temptations that are in their lives. Temptations, they can come to any person, even to a person who lives in a holy life. Why temptation come to a person to, who lives even in a holy life? Many people ask themselves, they say that I live in a holy life, that I follow God, everything that is telling me. But why am, am I getting temptation? Temptation is a man of things that God can make it happen to you so that to, to look the faith that you have it, is it strong or weak? That's why temptation are coming. So through prayers, prayers can make you feel strong and strength. And all the temptations can be easily to you. You can't feel it. You can't feel weak. You can't feel anything because of temptation. That's why God is, is asking us to pray. So if you lose prayers, temptations in your life will not end. Temptation in your life, you will see them, they are hard. There are other temptations that are passing through so that to, to carry you from one place to another. But if you don't pray, those temptations, they will fall you down and you will not move on. You will just remain at the same at the same place. So you have to be prayerful so that you can move on or move or that or overcome those temptations. Also, also there would be spiritual power inside you through prayers spiritual powers, Holy Spirit inside you. You can you can struggle hard to make yourself secure, make yourself live in a comfort life, but without these prayers, spiritual spiritual power inside you there will be no. Like they say People, for example, a person, for example, a person struggles hard to work at church, to to give offerings, to help people. But if you don't have Holy Spirit, or if you don't have spiritual power, that at the end of the day, when God comes, so that to pick His or to pick his people, you will not go even though you are doing good things. Spiritual power helps us to have good connection. As I said, connection with God it comes from prayers, but also it comes with the power that you are having, spiritual power, Holy Spirit, that he is controlling you. So people have been people have been asking that such a this question in their lives it's because they have not stayed they have not put their concentration in praying people have not put concentration in praying because of such such things for example a person can say that i have many work I have many, many obstacles that make him or her to not pray. But that's not, that's not it because God asked us to pray. Even God himself, himself, 
Even people in the Bible themselves, they had work to do. They had many things to do. But you have to put a real time so that to pray. Because as we know, prayer is protection in our life. Prayerful person cannot get such a temptation that can discourage him or herself. Prayer is giving us hope in our life, as I said, the importance of prayers. So I emphasize you, as a woman and man of God, you should pre be prayerful. Because nowadays, as we know, many people are discouraged because of things happening in the world. As, as we are going to the end of the world, many things are happening that are not good. You should overcome them with prayers. A prayerful person is very strong, and the devil is scared to that prayerful person. For example, people who, for example, people who are, are having all the agents of devil are scareful of a person who is prayerful. That's why you see when a person, for example, a person who is going to pray for a person who is sick. That person is get healed even before it's touched. It's because of prayer. Prayer, prayer makes a person to be powerful. Even you look to a person who is the agent of devil. He or she herself can run away from you. It's because you have a powerful weapon in, inside you. That's why I'm emphasizing you people to be prayerful. People will be succeed with prayers. Many connections. If you now you are you are having stress, you you don't get any things. For example, your life is not moving on, or you don't have things that the things in your family are not moving on. Just be prayerful. Ask God what is going on in my life, and He Himself with you and his connection will give you the answer and the solution of your problems. Be prayerful can make you to move from one place to another. So prayer bring prayer brings hope, prayer guides us, protect us, gives us many things that our minds cannot do. Don't force your mind to do things don't force your mind. Many people or many, many people in the world are struggling to use their minds, to use their capabilities. But without God, without praying, there will be nothing. Because as we know, God is the only one who has our breath of living. You are living because of God. You should be praying for thankful. For thankful, you should be praying for many things to Him. So, this message of prayer that God has given me, I hope God will do something in your life if you start to change. If you take a step of praying, keep even one hour. Or if you are trying to start, just keep little by little so that you can see you are good things at the end. Don't feel bad that you are passing in temptations. Don't feel bad that you are passing in trials. God will do something when you take a step of praying. I know you are struggling for your life now. I know you are struggling for making money or do something. But making money you should start god with it if you don't go if you for example if you want to go to your business or your work if there are many discouragements just start to pray tell god that i need you in my business pray first pray for your business pray for anything or pray for your family god will do something in that so this message that God has given me today, I hope many of you are going to change. 
as God has asked us in the Bible that we should pray constantly without ending. As I said in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 that if you ask you will be given. For example, you are a father or a mother. Your child can, cannot have anything without asking you. For example, he, your child, he or she wants a pencil or books for his or him, his or her school, but he or she can't get it without asking you. That's why God is telling us in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 that we should ask so that we should be given. So we should find so that we should get it. That's why many people in the world are finding money so that to be succeed, so that to be known, so that to get good life. When you are searching for money, when you are searching for anything, you should look the percentage of what of how you are searching money and how you are searching God. The percentage of searching God should be more than the percentage you are searching the things in this world because us as people we are passing in this world many things we are going to leave them we as we look many things many people who have passed away they have left the houses they have left big they have left big buildings big what and what money anything has been left here so we should be prayerful to find God first because at the, end of, at the end of the day, God is going to pick us up and we are going to move with God. So, this through prayers, we will be in a holy life. God will make us be in a holy life. We will live in a peaceful life, holy life. A life that you have peace in it. You don't have peace, you don't have love, you don't have faith. It's because you don't have holy life. Holy life are found through prayers. You can say that I go to the church so that I can be born again. But if you don't, if you don't, if you don't pray, God can... God can leave you away because you don't want connection with him. You don't want connection with him. Even you are born again, you say that, I, I just born again, so I will go in heaven. You can't. It's because you don't have connection. You need prayers so that God can help you live in a holy life. So through this message, let me thank you to all who have listened to my message of prayer and let me pray God help you in that because I know a devil can make many obstacles that can discourage you in your prayers okay let me pray okay if there are pers if there is a person who wants to accept Jesus today who wants to be born again who wants to be born again so that he or she can live in a holy life he or she can be a prayerful person so that to overcome some things that he or she is passing through you just listen to my words follow to my words you will you will be born again don't think that if you are you have done many bad things that you cannot be born again god has has kept your chance now you have to be born again so that you can be a prayerful and he is going to he is going to fulfill all the things because he has promised us in the bible so follow me this word lord jesus i thank you for this wonderful day i have come with my sins. Lord Jesus, 
as you promised us that you are going to do things in our lives today i need you i need you to heal me in this condition lord jesus i thank you that i'm being born again today and i'm going to be a prayerful person lord jesus thank you that i'm a new person today remove remove my name in remove my remove remove me in bad things lord jesus i need you in the name of jesus i pray amen also i'm going to pray for people who are sick or they are not feeling well lord jesus i thank you for this wonderful name for this wonderful message that you have given us of prayer i know god you are going to do something in this you say that through prayers people can be healed people can get things there are some people here who have many problems god i need you with these prayers you are going to fulfill their problems you are going to heal them their sickness in the name of jesus i pray amen thank you so much everyone for listening my message my contacts are my contact number is plus two five five six two zero six eight one four zero four plus two five five six eight two zero one four zero four also my email is musa gloria at gmail dot com Musa Gloria at gmail.com Thank you so much. God bless you. Have a good day. Amen.